everyone, I'm Callie and welcome to my channel. First things first, just if you haven't seen the trailer video, I curse. A lot, <laughs> let's just say. So if you are sensitive to that kind of thing, I completely understand. No judgment here. But if you don't want to hear it, fine. There are other people who can teach you how to sew on YouTube without the curse words. I am not one of those people. So I can give you a chance to peace out. There we go. Three, two, one. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. If you're still here, awesome. Let's learn some shit. Okay. So you've decided to learn how to sew. That is fucking great. Okay. But what do you need? Okay, well, besides the obvious, you know, you know you need a sewing machine. All right. Doesn't matter what you spend. Get you a sewing machine that is in within your budget, okay? Do not spend thousands of dollars if you are just starting out unless you've got that kind of coin to drop. That's just fucking stupid, okay? Let's not go down that route. But let me show you some other things, what you'll need, some little extra things that you might want to get. And then we're going to go over how to thread your machine and also how to fill your bobbin. All right, so let's go over that. Okay, everybody, so here are some other basics that you'll need to get your butt sewing. All right, besides fabric and a sewing machine, which are, I would hope, the obvious things, but, you know, hey. So first off, get you some scissors. Get you some scissors, if you can, that are for fabric cutting only. Don't let anybody come up here and start sewing, you know, start cutting paper and stuff with your shit because that'll only dull your scissors. If you need to, you see in here is like fabric only because you wanna keep your stuff sharp. Otherwise, you're gonna kind of warm up with snags and stuff in your fabric and we don't want that. You pay too much money for that fabric. Okay, if you don't want scissors, you can, you know, hit it with a rotary cutter. But if you do get a rotary cutter, Get you a cutting mat. Otherwise, Lord have mercy, you're going to cut up your table and then everybody's going to be upset. The other thing that you will need is some sort of marking device. So, like, this has like a little mechanical pencil in it with a little chalk. This is, you know, Taylor's chalk. And then this has like a little rotary wheel with some powder chalk in it. Whatever you can afford, get it. No judgment, just get you some sort of marking device. There's even like water soluble pens that are blue, you know, whatever you feel, you know, experiment, get what you can, it's fine. Now, obviously I would think this would be an obvious thing, but you know, just in case, your machine probably We'll come with a couple of needles if you get a fancy new one, but, you know, get you some needles. They do not have to be Inspira. You can be the, the Schmetz or another good one at the store that you can get. Singer needles. Whatever. Just as long as it fits your machine. Okay? Thread. This is another no-duh, but, you know, I understand Sometimes I gotta be told the no-duh things too. But it gets you some thread, some all-purpose thread uh, made for sewing. Okay, don't get like stuff for quilting or stuff for hand sewing because that stuff is not designed to go through a machine. Now for you also need a bobbin. Read your instructions on what kind of bobbin you need to get. There are a few separate different types. So just make sure you look up which ones you need. These are a class 15 bobbin. There are also class 66 bobbins, but again, read your manual, see what you need to get. And if you can't find your manual, Google that shit. 
The other thing you'll need is pins. Okay, pins are some kind of securing contraption. Uh, some people use like little clips or uh, clothes pins or something like that. Just as long as you can get pins, okay? Now, get used to these being found in your carpet. Sometimes you'll step on them. The other thing that you'll need, some people will say you don't need them right away, but if you're just starting out, trust me, you're going to need this shit. They only cost a couple of bucks. Is a seam ripper. And it does exactly what it says. It rips seams, okay? This will be your best friend in the entire world when it comes to sewing. I have one tattooed on my arm, so that's how it just shows you I love my seam ripper because the seam ripper teaches you no regrets in sewing because you know what? If you mess up, seam ripper can take it out and we can start all over again. Now, a couple other things you might want to get if you don't you don't mind you can get your little pin cushion for your pins it helps keep them secure there's even like magnetic ones and then also get you a seam guide seam gauge ruler or some kind of tiny ruler where you can do this do measurements because it helps you know you just kind of move this to hickey how big it needs to go and then you just kind of have that visual right there rather than just having to make sure you got five eighths each time okay so here's your basics of what you'll need besides the sew besides the uh, sewing machine and the fabric all right so now let's get to threading Okay, everybody. So first off, this is going to be handheld. So sorry about the shakiness, but let's thread this shit. Okay. First and foremost, read your instructions when it comes to what parts you got to put the thread where, because not every machine is exactly the same, but you're going to have to, you know, but this is, you know, pretty much same general bits is what you got to go around. So first off, you're going to have some sort of place to put your thread. This machine, you can either put it up and down, or it can lay down like that in there and then stuff doesn't rotate. It just kind of just comes off the thing. So with this type of thread on this type of spool, I'm just going to leave that on there like that and then what we got to do is come around here come back around this way come down under you come over the uptake arm there's a little uptake arm in there if you can't see it there's a little shiny bit and then you come back down and then you put it in your needle. Some machines may have an auto, like a little needle thread or doohickey. Sometimes you gotta break out the magnifying glass to find the hole. Insert innuendo here. But basically you gotta just gotta stick it in that hole. Alright, so let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna put it back on the tripod just to show you without having to be all flibbity dibbity. Alright, here we go. Okay, everybody, so we're gonna thread our machine. So, because I can go up or down on this, I'm just gonna leave it down since usually we do that with this kind of thread spool. But we got our thread. We're gonna put it under the thingy. Come down underneath. Most importantly, you wanna make sure you get it on that uptake lever doohickey thingy that's over here um because sometimes i can mess your stuff up and you will know if it's not on there right and then we just kind of come underneath here and then we stick it in to the little guide and i'm going to put it in 
with the threader because if we had to wait for me to find the hole, then we'd be here all day. So there we go. We got our machine threaded. Sorry, the needle is in. I'm gonna slide it underneath. So next up, we're gonna do, we're gonna wind that bobbin. So let's wind it. Wind it, wind it good. Okay, everybody, now we're gonna wind the bobbin thread. Uh, just address something real quick. I did wind the bobbin with the green thread the other day and even thought I filmed it, but guess what? I fucked up and didn't press record button, which is a shame because I said some really some, some really profound shit. At least I think I did. But anyways, so here we go. We're gonna, so I had to do this with a different color thread, but don't worry, everything's gonna go back to green after this. So because I'm in a different spool, I've got my little pin doohickey straight up because this spool doesn't like laying down. I've got my thread all down its path of everything to go. This machine, actually, I can also wind the bobbin with the thread still in the needle, um, but I'm not going to do that in this case. Some machines do have that feature. If yours doesn't, okay. It's really, but if you can get one that does have that, please do it because it saves you a lot of time of having to unwind, unthread your machine and then thread it back again. So here we got our bobbin. And if you notice, there's like a little hole in the top. And what you wanna do is stick that thread through the hole. And here we go. And then we're going to stick it on. This is where our bobbin winder is. Now, when I first started sewing on my mom's old Kenmore, I didn't realize that there was a bobbin <laughs> winder on it. Um, so needless to say, I was winding my shit by hand until my mother finally said, oh, hey, there's a bobbin winder on the machine what so yeah make sure you got a bobbin winder so i've got it on there pressed it over if you see the machine says sp means uh we're spooling might mean something else but i don't know i always say it's spooling so now that we got it on there i usually like to just hold this leader thread up a little bit and then we're going to press on that pedal or press the start start uh, button if you got a one on your machine and then I just like to hold it for a little bit just to make sure everything's secure. Then I'll pause it and then snip that little bit off. And then we go back to doing it. Um, I don't know if you could see. Let me see if it'll work. But there's like a little stopper thingy on this inside part of the bobbin winder. And what that is, is the machine should stop winding your bobbin once it reaches that it'll see like oh hey I can't wind anymore it's too much but you just want to just keep an eye on it just to make sure because I have busted up some bobbins before and then you got all this extra thread and it's annoying as fuck so here we go we're gonna make this bitch spin a little bit more we're spinning bitches we're spinning all right that looks to be about good so you get your little little scissors. I did a get your scissors, or sometimes there's usually like a, a thread cutter. Let's use the thread cutter. And we got our thread cutter. Plop it over. And now we got our wound bobbin. But like I said before, if get if Make sure your machine has got a bobbin winder on it. Most machines these days do um, because it is important for that tension to be on there on that, oops, on there on that bobbin. Helps if I hold it in frame. So, all right, gang. Got our bobbin threaded wound. And here we go.
All right, everybody. So now we've got our machine threaded. We've got the bobbin in. We are ready to go. So what I want you to do is get some fabric. Now this is an old sheet that I just cut up because nobody wanted to sleep on it anymore and it was kind of gross. And I just use this to make like some practice stuff. Got two pieces of fabric. Oops, sorry for hitting that. Two pieces of fabric. We're not gonna fuck around with pins just yet. That'll be next time. Maybe if I remember. Um, <laughs> but get you a pencil and just draw you a line, okay? And what we're gonna do, I don't know if you can see on the foot, but there's like a little red, not little line there. We're gonna follow that red line with the machine. And sew these two pieces of fabric together, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is put this shit underneath here. Okay, lower the presser foot. Now, I forgot to tell you my chair is noisy, or maybe I've told you already, but that's okay. First and foremost, this is not a race, it's not a competition. This is you learning a skill. Learning skills takes time. Okay. The more you practice at it, the more time that you have under your belt, the better you're gonna get at it, okay? Doesn't matter if it's five minutes a day, even a minute, you just practice one stitch. That's one more than what you did yesterday, okay? So here we go, we're gonna use our machine to sew something. Finally! All right, so we got our stuff down. And we're not gonna worry about securing off this yet. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so we got our presser foot down. If you have a pedal, or if you have the ability to use a pedal, get your foot up on there. If not, if you got like buttons like up in here, get your finger ready to use them buttons. Okay, so here we go. Deep breaths. And... Let's go. All right. So really what you wanna do, see the machine can handle this on its own, but sometimes you just wanna just guide it in there. Guide it in so it doesn't go all ham on you. Go at the speed you want. And then we're just gonna go to the end of the line. All right, here we go at the end of the line. Let up on that pedal, the machine should stop. If it doesn't let up right at the end of the line, it's okay, guess what? This is your first stitch that you've made, so it's okay. All right, so we're gonna raise our foot, do some snips, snip, 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 snip. And there we go, guess what? You are now a sewer. You have sewn thing, a thing, okay? Look at this, let's make sure that we got it right. Yep, that is sewn together. All right, so let me just go over also to right quick in case you just wanna just go balls deep in this stuff. I'll show you how to secure off. So this machine has a fancy button where it'll go forward, backward, forward, backward without me having to fuck around with the reverse button. Um, so I'm just gonna show you that and then um, I will show you how to do it with the reverse button when it gets towards the end. Um, whenever you are starting and ending a stitch, you generally do want to do your securing at the beginning and at the end. To, just to secure it, if you don't have a fancy button, what you're just gonna do is go forward a stitch, go back a stitch, go forward a stitch, and then be on your way. It takes practice. 
If you go back and forward 5,000 times, you're gonna have a big old lump of thread, but guess what? That shit's gonna be secure. All right, so I got our fancy fix button pressed and it's gonna go boop, 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 boop. And away we go. So I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit. All right, now we're gonna do it with the reverse button. So it's already in forward motion. So the way this thing is, is it has to do a little a couple stitches before it kicks into the reverse. So we got boom, boop. And then it's doing reverse. So let's go back. Now I went a little too far because I pressed too hard on the pedal. So I'm gonna do this again. Okay, so here we go. Got the reverse button engaged, and then now it's going backwards. So now that I see it's gone backwards, I'm gonna hit that again to make things go forward. And away we go. All right. So guess what, everybody? You sewed something today, and that's fucking awesome. All right. Good job. Y'all are awesome. I hope y'all enjoyed everything today, and I'll see you next time.